Morning, Diesel. Morning, say hi to all the good people. Hi, y'all, you good people. So we uh, parked here at the Petro Pass east of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Found our spot pretty much along the curb. Had to make a spot last night, but we were out of the way. Uh, we had like the last spot in this whole lot. It was packed. People blocked off this whole driveway beside me too. Well, I don't like it when they do that, but I guess I gotta do what you gotta do. So we're gonna start this baby up. We're gonna go deliver our freight today. On a rainy day. Yay. Let's let her run through her cycle here first. In the meantime, there's all this construction going on over there, right? I went and asked about it. And they are putting in electric charging stations here as well. So remember we were talking about that uh, in Sault Ste. Marie, was that yesterday? Or was the day before? I think it was yesterday morning, wasn't it? That billboard we saw that said Canada's electric highway. So they are actually putting electric charging stations from coast to coast in Canada along our main interstate, interstate you'd say, it's, we call it Trans Canada, uh, so that you can have an electric car and travel comfortably across the entire country with regular charging intervals. I think it's a good idea. If people want to drive electric cars, now they got options. At least they, they're giving them options, right? At least they're not just taxing us for uh, for using like, combustible engines and not giving us an option, right? At least they're starting to give us some options. Gotta hand that to them. So when I'm filming this, this is Canadian Election Day. So when you're watching this, it's already old news to you and you know who the new leader is. So you know more than me at this point right now. So uh, that's all I'll say on that topic today. Hoping for the best. Hopefully uh, something good happened. So let's start this up. Oh, oh, there you are. There you are. Oh, you're a good girl. Good girl. Okay, let this thing warm up here a little bit. I already did my pre-trip, checked everything out. <coughs> that was the last step of the pre-trip I had to do right there. Uh, make, make, make sure it starts. You always want to make sure your truck starts, otherwise it's going to be very difficult throughout your day to do your job. So I'll get these windows unfogged. I guess I'm a little hot, fogging things up in here a little bit. Can't help it. Sorry. So yeah, yeah. you know I'm not against electric vehicles at all. I, I still don't see how they're going to cut down on pollution overall because you got to get that energy from somewhere and those batteries again I don't know I don't know but uh, they're giving it a shot at least they're giving it a shot you know we'll see what happens we'll see what happens I'm not gonna rush out and buy an electric vehicle right away no, no, no I'm gonna give them like oh as long as possible to figure things out work out the bugs see how people who do buy them right away like them see how long they last See how much maintenance there is. See how expensive it is to own one, like after you buy it for maintenance. See how much uh, it costs to charge a vehicle, how long it costs, like, or how long it takes. Like they're putting in, behind this guy, they're putting in those electric charging stations for cars, but I think there's probably only gonna be, gonna be like the, the six, like the ones in Sa uh, Saskatchewan on there. Sorry, my English is not English today. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so if we all get electric cars, there's not going to be enough charging stations. And then will you be able to make it to the next charging? Or are you just going to wait? How long is it going to take to charge your vehicle? How far can you go? How far can you go in minus 30 on a full charge? How long would it take to charge it off a regular? I have so many questions. I'm very fascinated by this whole electric car, electric truck thing. Like, totally fine. I'm not against it at all. I'm just skeptical and I'm a devil's advocate. I'm like, what about this? What about that? What about this? That's sort of how I am with anything really. If someone comes up with this new great idea that I really think is an awesome idea and everyone else thinks is a pretty awesome idea, I'm always thinking, okay, have we thought of everything? What could go wrong? Because a lot of times they'll push this new technology out and they won't consider variables like, you know, Canada gets cold. Because these technologies are developed in the southern states and not tested up here in the cold climates of Canada. They did the same thing with uh, trucks. 
right? With, uh, they did the same thing with the DEF. They did the same things with uh, on a Freightliner. I had a lot of problems uh, a little while ago in the cold because they test their trucks in the southern states. Their test route was from like Los Angeles to somewhere in North Carolina where they tested across the roads. And those are all warm climates, so they, they never, but maybe they have, maybe they have. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen next. Maybe my next truck is gonna be an electric truck. I don't know. I can't see that happening, but you know. You never know. Let's get out there, let's deliver this freight. We've been talking long enough. I'm, I'm trying to, okay, I'm procrastinating a little bit. It, it's raining and I've gotta, I gotta untarp and roll up my tarps in the rain. It's not raining that bad though, it's just sort of drizzling. And off we go. Sort of like a local delivery today. <laughs> delivering right here in Winnipeg and then going home. I'll probably be leaving on another trip tomorrow, that's what I'm thinking. We'll see how my logbook looks and how my hours look at the end of the day. But uh, I'm thinking I should be good to keep going. I want to keep moving. It's got a lot of days off earlier this month and all of those repairs. I got to keep this truck rolling. Those 10 days off were really nice though. It was a nice little unscheduled vacation. That's sort of how you got to take your vacations and trucking a lot of the time is when your truck goes in the shop you better enjoy yourself and try not to think about all the money you're spending because <laughs> you're gonna have to run hard so we got to deliver this in Rosser uh, it says Rosser but the the address is actually in the northwest corner of Winnipeg it's in a new development there I guess we'll see what's going on once we get there. Because Google Maps says that it's in the middle of a field just outside of an industrial zone. I'm guessing it's a new uh, building coming up. I don't know what they need railway for though. And it's like mini railroad too. It's not like actual railroad. It's it's like mini rail. So I don't know. Mini rails. Something from something that they need. It's not that big of a load, and they paid they paid full truckload to bring this stuff all the way from Ontario, way out in eastern Canada, all the way out here. So, I mean, it must be pretty important. On the north perimeter here, about to turn south onto Route 90, Brookside Boulevard. At least the rain has slowed down on this part of the city. Hope it stays that way. Looks like it's clear out west in front of us, so that weather will be coming here. Or clearer out west, anyway, not completely clear. Oh, they still got some snow here under the bridges. Look at this. I'd say that's crazy, but no. This is Manitoba. It's winter peg. Surprised you don't have snow year round. All right, somewhere around here is my delivery, but I don't know. I think it's this on the right. This is the new Freightliner. It's about time that they started building a new Freightliner dealership in Winnipeg. The old one was so small, so clustered up, I guess you'd say. Oh, okay, now how do I get in here? How do I get in here? What would be the best way? Yeah, future home of Freightliner Manitoba. Cool! Cool, okay, I don't know what they need with rail, but all right, that's cool. I'm just gonna park here for now. I got my beacons on, got my four ways on, my park anywhere and get away with it. Lights. I think I'm gonna have to go in that driveway there. Yep. I'm gonna back up and just go right on in. One second here. One second, I went too far. I should've gone in the driveway. Should've gone in the driveway. Josh, you should've gone in the driveway. I blame you, Karen. All right, here we go. Let's wander in here, see if anybody tells me to stop. I saw another truck going in here. Uh, I guess that's maybe the site office on the right there. You never really know. There's a whole bunch of different contractors here and one of them is my customer. I'm not too sure which one, so I'm gonna have to. I'll park here and give the phone call I have, the contact guy, I've, give him a ring. I'll see what he, what he tells me to do. I don't know what they want with rail though.
Well, it's that time of year again when all the bungees get so cold out there, you gotta bring them inside to warm them up so that they can track back to their normal size. Uh, but we have finished. We have a signed bill of lighting, signed proof of delivery, so they admitted that I brought it here and it was in good shape. We got an empty, I almost call it a step deck, an empty flatbed behind us. Uh, it's time to get going. This is going to be a really nice dealership. Uh-oh, we got trucker cops. Somebody's getting a spanking. Uh-oh. Wonder if he was hauling a load of gravel without that tarp over the top. And I, I see that every now and then. And my, my friend Troy had an incident in Washington State recently where a guy was losing gravel while he was on the highway and he was damaging all the vehicles behind him. So I'm hoping my uh, my friend can get the money he needs out of him to fix his car. Apparently it's like $4,000 of damage or something. It's crazy. Yeah, those gravel trucks, they have to have, they have to cover their loads when they're hauling gravel and sand and stuff, right? So that the wind doesn't pick it up out of the box and throw it out in the traffic on the highway. And I've seen it all too often. They, they're just maybe too lazy or maybe they're too tired to do it. I don't know, but they don't cover their load. And then, you know, gravel and sand goes spraying everywhere and damaging people's vehicles. Maybe that's why that guy was being pulled over. I don't know. Who knows, or maybe he didn't have mud flaps. I think he had mud flaps. I see the gravel trucks in Wisconsin, they never have mud flaps. That's so weird because they need them the most because they go into these gravel yards where they pick up all these stones, right? Then they get on the pavement and on the highway and they start throwing these stones at vehicles behind them. So I don't know about here, but obviously not there. But here, they, by law, they have to have functional mud flaps. They can't be the ones that flail behind the truck either. They have to be functional to stop rocks, right? I don't know. Just glad he's not pulling me over. <laughs> Speaking of the police, that's Springfield Police. Oh, Springfield Municipality has their own police department, eh? But yet Steinbach doesn't. That's so weird. You know, Steinbach, uh, we outsource our policing to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, our federal police. So they become our local police then as well. But even like a, a small municipality like St. Anne, just north of Steinbeck, they have their own police. I don't understand why Steinbeck doesn't have their own police force. Huh. Winkler even has their own police force. Morton has their own police force. Look at here, way smaller communities. What's going on, Steinbeck? Why are we why are we giving our, our policing to the feds? Why, why are we letting Ottawa police our town? Why don't we... Uh, police ourselves, you know, have our own police department. I'm just, just saying, just throwing it out there. I'd much rather have local police than a police force out of Ottawa. Just, just saying. Oh, I didn't want to turn here, did I? Oh, I didn't want to turn here. Nope. Didn't want to turn here. Okay. My bad. We'll just do a second loop, I guess. Shoot. Shoot. What am I going to do now? I guess we're just gonna go around this whole loop. Come on with me for a ride, everybody. We're gonna go around, we're gonna do the whole loop. waste of time. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess just habit. I usually turn on to, that was the Trans Canada. I usually just turn on to the Trans Canada. <laughs> I was going back to Ontario. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh boy, I just about lost my mind. No, we're going to stay out here out in the west for a while. See where they send me tomorrow. I'm going home tonight. It's election night. I got to go and uh, either have a party or uh, go to bed sad. 
we'll see, depending on what the, the results were. Only I, I don't know what they were yet, so you know more than me right now. By the time you're watching this, I will I'll know too, so you don't need to send me a bunch of messages telling me what happened. I, I, I filmed these just letting you know. I think you get it. I think you get it. There's at least one person in there that doesn't get it, but that's okay. We love you anyway. I've got all my tarps strapped to the back of my truck now. Time to go home. Ah, let's release the brakes first. I'm like, why am I not moving? I want to go home. I'm so excited to go home that I, uh... Shoot, I shouldn't have said that word. Keep eating your food, Diesel. Eat your food. Be a good boy. You need some more water? Eat your food. He doesn't always eat as much when he's on the road with me. He's not as active, so he doesn't eat as much. All right, rest of the water's for me, though, okay? Mmm. Oh. Water. So I try to drink a lot of water. I'm not always good at it. And historically, historically, in the past, I've been terrible at drinking lots of water. I credit my wife for uh, getting me on a water kick uh, because being on the road, I never used to like to stop to go to the bathroom often, right? So I'd hardly drink any water. I'd maybe drink half a liter a day, and like a quarter of a gallon a day. Maybe on a good day. Some days I just wouldn't have any at all. That's terrible for you. That's terrible for you. Water cleans your system out. You gotta keep it going. Yeah, you gotta go to the bathroom more often, but that's a good thing because you don't want all that crud I call it crud. You don't want you don't want all that stuff sitting in your kidneys, right? Because your kidneys filters out all the junk. And when you drink lots of water, yeah, you gotta go to the bathroom more often, but it cleans everything out, cleans your kidneys out. Otherwise, you risk getting kidney stones when you're older. My dad had kidney stones. That's why I'm a little worried about that. Uh, I forget how old he was when he had them. Uh, I'm, I wanna say it was probably about 10 years ago. Maybe more, 15? I remember he was in the hospital for a while. He had to park his truck for a few months. It was bad, the pain was bad, and I, I didn't even fully grasp what was going on, uh, but I don't want to, so uh, lots of water, try to avoid some kidney stones. And water gives you energy. You don't need energy drinks, just drink water. Mm. Energy drinks, by the way, are very bad for your kidneys. From what I've heard, I'm not a scientist or anything, as you all pretty much know, a lot of you like to remind me all the time, uh, but from what I've heard, when you drink an energy drink, to fully cleanse it out of your system, it takes like three months. Is that, is that what I heard? Anyway, it, it, it's really hard on your, your innards. Your, your innards. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Why am I not on the way home yet? Diesel, why aren't you eating? I was waiting for you. I didn't want to distract you. I distracted him. I said home one too many times. I said it again. That's all that's going to be going through his mind right now. Just like a little monkey with symbols. Ting, 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 ting. Except symbols. He's like going home, 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 home. That's all that's going on in his head right now. You said it three more times. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Now I'm gonna have to deal with him whining all the way home. Let's go. <laughs>